fuck off! Yep, it worked. <laughs> this is a huge win, dude. Just to get this on the road. Way to go. It's 1970. Your best friend is a smart ass, and he's got a Camaro that thinks it's fast. His buddy has a Mustang that thinks he's fast. You, you're a Mopar guy. You got $3,500 burning a hole in your pocket. You walk into your local Dodge dealership, and you feast your eyes on a one of 18 triple black 1970 Dodge Coronet RT 446 pack. The car over my right shoulder is a 1970 Dodge Coronet RT 446 pack car. It's actually the first car that I went to Barrett Jackson and uh, kind of hunted down and stalked the car prior to it's going up on the bidding block. It was sitting outside in one of the tents, very unassuming. It was 2008. I was probably about 300 pounds at the time. It was a little harder for me to hide because if someone saw me and thought I was interested in the car, there's always that guy who would like to bid you up and to just be that guy. I'm looking the car over. I have a hoodie on. Unfortunately, I was identified and it really pissed me off because I, I knew that it was over. I knew somebody was going to bid me up. So fast forward to the car crossing the blocks. I go up there with my hoodie on. I turn to my right and I see the guy that ID'd me out by the car originally. He wanted the car. He was there to specifically bid on the car. I have never done this before. I do not suggest this to anyone. It's improper behavior, especially at an auction. I'll never do it again, but I literally walked up to this gentleman and I said, here's the deal. I love this car. I came here specifically for this car. You can be a dick all you want, but I'm not leaving without this car. So you can bid it up, you can stay out, the choice is yours. So the action started flying, bids started going. I look, the guy raises his hand. I raise my hand, I look at the guy, he doesn't bid again. Whoever you were, I can't thank you enough, I appreciate it greatly. By you bowing out, I purchased the vehicle, brought it back home, put it on one of the 13 lifts I had at Goldberg's Garage out in California, and unfortunately it was up top, and it was one of those cars that I never really got to. So I never drove the car. It's 2024 right now, and I can honestly say I've probably put 25 to 30 miles on that vehicle in the last 16 years. It's an automatic. It's got a 727 torque flight, 446 pack car, which means three two barrel carburetors. Jackson and I have become extremely familiar with these carburetors because we've spent a lot of time prepping them prior to today's drive. Yeah, boy. Ah. All right, well, all right, no, no, that's good. Um, Let's check no leaks underneath real quick. Do we have them uh, properly calibrated? Absolutely not. Are they mounted on the car and are they flowing gasoline through them? Yes, they are. So, you know, let's go drive it. The people at home have no idea how much we've been thrashing on this car uh, up until Probably one o'clock in the morning. This oh, morning? Yeah, I've got one too. We'll make sure everything's tight. Dude, it's amazing what happens if you put all the parts on the video kit like and back into it. Yep. I'm showing everybody that everything that I have is dry bull. So, what's the definition of that and where are we at this moment? Because in a couple minutes, we gotta go dry this stuff. So, 
basically it is drivable where we got it last night, but not where I want it to be, I guess you could say. The fact that we drained the gas after we rebuilt the carburetors and put them on there. <laughs> I'm removing these float bowls again, and I'm going to make sure that there's no more trash or anything that went back up in there. The you basically ran a colonoscopy on the three two barrel carburetor. Yes, basically. And now I'm just gonna do it again. Just because. That's what they do when you go to the doctor. Come out. It's on you. We have 15 yep. minutes to get this thing running, right? All right, yep, 15 minutes. Okay. So I am a slave driver here at Goldberg's Garage because uh, Jackson is not only prepping the car so that we can drive it, but eating simultaneously. By the way, Mark and Compadres, thanks again, brother. You're always there for us. Okay. I've now got 10 minutes. Left. Enough break? You have, mm -hmm. you have seven minutes left. Ready for a little product segment? Yes, I am. Right here, we have the track tire jack. A buddy of mine, Kevin, dropped it by the other day. He wants us to run it through the paces, and we got the coronet up in the air, so uh, it's a perfect car to work it on. It's going to reduce injury on the job. You got tire wheel packages on a car like this that are probably an average of 40 pounds on a truck. What is it? Close to 100? 60 to 80. 60 to 80. So, not everybody is Hercules like you. So, we need us, us normal people need a little help. Right? So all you do is just slide around under the wheel, give it a little bit of oomph there, a little leverage, and slide her off. Then reverse the process. I'm not using any strength because I have none left. There you go. Easy as pie. Does that mean that I could take you down? Take me down if I'm down already, maybe. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it very much. Boys and girls, go out there, buy yourself the uh, track, track tire, tire jack. Go to liftwithtrack.com or I'll kill you. I'm gonna try to go right out here and do a donut. I got a little one. Well, not a little one. I got a big one, but I got a little burnout. I did it. <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, it just shifted through second gear perfect, and right? It didn't run that bad. I'm pretty pleased with the way it runs. I yeah. Say. Dude, as much shit as we did to this car. Yeah. First it sat for how many years? 15 yeah. years? Yeah. Freaking coolant dripping on it from the Trans Am. It's just sad. And since we've had it at the garage, since the garage has been built, we haven't done anything with it up until two weeks ago when we considered filming it. Then started with the brakes, the wheel cylinders, then we bled the brakes, and then that didn't work. Then we changed the master cylinder. That freaking worked. At one o'clock last night. One o'clock last night. Then the carburetor yeah. issue. This car runs, man. One work. Nope. Nope. Fuck off! Yep, it worked. <laughs> How's it feel to drive it truly? I can't put it in words, dude. It's just the smile on my face. Freaking awesome. Couldn't have asked for a better day either. No, couldn't have asked for a better day, and I couldn't have asked for a better mechanic, dude. I mean, Thank you, I appreciate that. You uh, have been busting your ass to get this thing ready. Truth is, it's not 100% ready, yeah. but I'll be damned if we were not gonna film this thing today. Yeah, I was determined last night. Doesn't bog here. No. Didn't even downshift with all that torque. Yeah. Yeah, it wants to go. 
Maybe it's running too rich and just loading up. That's what it actually feels like. Yeah. You know what that means I'm gonna wanna f with the mixture screen, right? I knew you would. But hey, again, this is a huge win, dude. Yeah. Just to get this on the road. Then you kick in that 446 back. Got that because that's <laughs> that's all I can do. That's all. I smell gas coming out too. That we threw fuel out. <laughs> Hopefully we got that on the GoPro. All right, guys. So vital statistics: top speed 123 miles an hour, and it takes you 45 seconds to get there. Approximately, yes. Yeah. Zero 60 and a staggering 6.6 .6 seconds. That's pretty quick. Yeah. Wave. Wow, you're quite a bit off, Bill. You're 400 pounds off. It weighs 3,600 pounds. That's close. 10.6 miles per gallon. And 3,589 dollars. You know, it wasn't a violent drive, and it wasn't, you know, a lot of tire smoke or anything like that, but I'm good with it. So far, the most rewarding for me. Yeah. Okay, I got to say that was a complete success. There's no question I would have loved to melt these tires like we normally do, but nobody really knows the backstory on this vehicle. Just to get it out on the road and to get it back in one piece without it breaking down was a huge accomplishment. Way to go. I appreciate it. You guys know the drill. If you like what you saw, make sure you comment, and most importantly, hit the like and subscribe button. Boom! Or Jackson gets it. What? Bam! Can't wait to see what's underneath curtain number one. Because I feel like it Ooh. should have been running a lot better than it was. Oh, well, that has a little bit to do with it. Yep. Mel well, that, melty, melty. That was the whistling noise we were hearing after a little while was the uh, vacuum leak. Nice. <laughs> That's some really quality looking tubing, too. By no means are we sponsored by Amazon. This is not an endorsement, so don't buy this shit. <laughs> Please don't buy this shit. And I'm talking to you, Jackson. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> I'm out.